Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is on the Fish Beard by Channel Island Surfboards. Now I have two custom boards here, and I started with this one, and the reason I didn't go stock is because there was no stock dimensions for me to choose from. So I gave them some pretty typical dimensions for me, thinking about a twin fin fish, I went 5'4", 18 and 7 8 2 and a quarter. And I didn't know where the leaders would land at volume wise. So these are my thoughts that were going through my head when I ordered this board. Most fish type boards have a lot of surface area in the nose, right? And the longer I go, the more it has a tendency to catch up here and I can't get crisp turns. So I end up going 5'3", or 5'2". Well, this one coming in at 5'4", when I got it, I'm like, wow, it's got more of a high performance outline, right? And I'm thinking this should be relatively free from catching. I didn't know that the leaders were gonna come in at 24.9. So now I'm thinking, okay, it's on the low side leader range. I'm five foot nine and 160 pounds, but let's get out there and give it a ride. After a couple days of testing, completely free up here. Board's moving very well performance wise. And I'm really liking it. But every now and then, I noticed it catching in this area right here. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure what that is. This could just be a volume problem. So I called up to the folks at CI, sent them some clips, told them this is what's going on with the model. It feels good. I'm getting good turns. But every now and then, this is what's happening right here. It's catching. So they, they agreed to shape me another board. Britt made me another custom 5.5 five at 25.5 liters. Now, 18 and 7 eighths wide, two and a quarter thick, just like this one. So we added an inch in length and it gave us a little bit more liters and that solved my problem from it not catching right here. Now, when Aaron and I decided to go to CI headquarters to pick this board up, we asked if Britt would come and join us and break these, this review down for us on the fish beard. He, he agreed, and we had a blast. I think you guys are going to love this review. So sit back, get your favorite drink, and enjoy the show. But we're here to talk to you about the fish beard. Maybe you can uh, introduce us to it and what's so... The name itself has got me like kind of puzzled. Fish beard. Yeah, fish beard. <laughs> right? Neck yeah. beard too. Yeah. Huge fan of that board. Yeah. Tell us, is there, are there some similarities? Yeah, uh, we're calling it the fish beard because it's built on the neck beard to chassis. Um, and the way that it came about was that Parker had been riding the neck beard to at a lot of places, but the Wave Pool and Waco, like right. a lot of other people, it's kind of a go to airboard for there. Sure. And then, you know, riding at different spots around. And he just also, like we are right now, started getting intrigued with twin fins a little bit. And he'd been riding the CI twin right. and the CI fish. Right. And in his mind, he's like, I think that there's some way that this neck beard will work sick as a twin fin. Sure. So that's where we started. And we wanted to take the neck beard, which is such a good, versatile rocker. Absolutely. Works well for so many people. Mm -hmm. Works well across a bunch of different waves. Yep. Um, and is like as cruisy as you want to be, but also as performance as you want to be. So we want to take that and then just make it into a fish. Right. So that's how it became the fish beard. Okay. And the way that we did that was we changed the outline in the back third of the board sure. a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, obviously we put a swallowtail on it, but that's a pretty simple thing. But it was really about changing this rail curve back here. The neck beard has a little bit of a break right there, which right. is kind of a performance thing, kind of a Dane thing. Sure. Dane always likes to have a bit of a hip in his boards. Right. So we took out the hip, and in order to move from <clears throat> something as performance as a neck beard to something like a fish, you want to have some straighter lines. So we straightened this rail line back here, and then we did the, the corresponding thing with a rocker back there. Right. So with all CI boards where we have the hip, generally the rocker breaks there as well for a right. high performance board. Mm -hmm. So we took that break out. And what we're doing is we're elongating this rail line, we're elongating this rocker line in the same way, kind of straightening it, but keeping a lot of curve off the back because the neckbeard actually has a significant amount of rocker out the tail. Sure. We've even added a little bit about that in this one. Okay. So it creates more of fish curves on the board, mm -hmm. hence the fish beard. Um, but we really wanted it to be, Parker wanted it to be a performance fish. Right. He wanted to ride a twin fin because of that feel that we always love, like no drag, that freedom, that speed, sure. that instant thing. Yeah. 
But his thought was, I don't want anyone to know I'm riding a twin fin. Right. I want to be able to rip the bag out of the thing and do the turns that I want to do. Sure. And in our minds, we're like, yeah, that's the perfect thing. Like, okay. if you could have all the speed and flow of a twin fin right. and feel that thing, but then do the turn that you want to do. Because guys like us that came up on thrusters, right. there comes a moment where we just want to do a thruster sure, turn sure. that you could only do on a thruster. No yeah. matter what you're riding, you're like, yeah, this is cool, but I really want to do this. Right. So that was his goal with that. And I think that the neckbeard gave us the right chassis to do that. Right. And then with these changes, we just created something that is super flowy, but then super high performance at the same time. So. Another question for me on chassis, concave. Yeah. What are you doing there? We're running the same concaves as the Neckbeard 2, which is a fairly slight single concave all the way through, and then comes out essentially flat off the tail block. Would you say this fish beard is a lot more performance compared to the CI Twin Fish that you guys launched what, yeah. last year? Yeah, far, far. So that was more of a traditional fish, sure. which... Um, I think the liability, the, the assets of those type of boards are the, the speed, the flow, the cruise, the high line thing, right. <clears throat> the certain kind of turn you could do where you're holding that rail for a long time. The liabilities with those are they're just too lateral at right. the end of the day. You know what I mean? It's just too much of a down the line thing. And if you really want to dig into it, you're catching somewhere or there's sure. a little too much area forward. Um, so this was definitely a move toward performance, but at the same time, not wanting to lose that thing that we all love about fish. Sure, sure. And that's my favorite thing about this board. Like when I surf this board, I do a lot of the back foot forward thing. Right. Driving more from the middle of the board, staying really high on the wave. Mm -hmm. I just love that feeling. Right. Um, but I said, as I said, because we're thruster guys, there comes a moment where you're just like, oh my gosh, look at this section. Yeah. I got to put my foot back and like do what I want to do. Lay into something, yeah. So our goal was, I don't want to sacrifice that, that flowy, high line, fast, free, fishy vibe. Right. But I want to add some performance to it. So I think that for the person who really just wants that fish vibe, they're going to be totally stoked. Right. Um, and for the person that wants to take that a little further mm -hmm. with their turns and the arc of the turns, that they're going to be surprised. Now, the first board you shaped me was a 5.4 mm -hmm. custom. It came in at like, I think, 24.9 liters. This one's 25 and a half. We went an inch longer. And I remember texting you back and forth. To be honest with you, Brad, I was having a little bit of um, difficulties with the shorter board catching right up in here. Mm -hmm. Right? And right. I, I have been choosing to ride my twin fins a little bit shorter yeah. because there's always a lot of surface area up in the nose and i find that the longer i go the more it has that tendency to do that yeah so you you remember your comment back to me mm -hmm. about should i go shorter and right. just keep it short five four and add a little bit of thickness and yeah. then you shape me this yeah no we're finding that with this board it's it's a little better longer and narrower than you would ride something like the ci fish or mm. a traditional fish okay the the curves just tend to lend themselves to a little more stretched out mm. platform okay um which i think lends itself to the performance thing and also lends itself to like the versatility of the board right. so again it's not so pigeonholed like a fish is mm. you don't have all that curve and all that area forward so i would say that when people are ordering this board they should get it somewhere between really their short board and they'd like and a CI fish. Right. And that's pretty much in the neck beard range. Yeah, yeah. That pretty much be the size. Mm -hmm. So if you air, you want to air a little longer and a little narrower on this board. Let's go into your fins a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I've been raving to our community about the Almeric Keel. Um, for me, I've been pushing this board. I've been riding it in overhead surf, especially mm -hmm. backside. And um, it's got great hold. And I always talk about, for me, a true test on a twin fin is how do I serve a backside? Yeah. So we've been really particular working on the splay or the cant on these fins. Mm -hmm. And in general, I would say we're probably running more cant than your general fish sort of board or someone or a board with a keel setup. Right. And that again adds to the performance. It frees it up rail to rail. Right. Um, but these fins don't lose speed when they're like that. So sure. we've been trying to find that sweet spot between speed and maneuverability, which is what the chase always is with surfboards. Exactly. Right? Everyone wants a board that's, that's fast and loose, light and strong. Right. We did it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So now that we spent some time with Britt and he broke down the fish beard for us, I thought it'd be interesting to line up the 5.5 five fish beard with a 5.5 five neck beard too. They're both the exact same dimensions. Neckbeard 2 comes in 18 and 7 eighths, 2 and a quarter. I see some similarities. And remember what Britt said, 
from here up, it's basically a neck beard too. This is so important because what I'm experiencing under my feet is because it doesn't have a lot of surface area up in the nose here, like a traditional twin fin fish, it's completely free to give me precision turns in a tight transition. No catching here. And since we fixed the problem with the 5.4 being low on leaders, now it's not catching here anymore. That brings me to this. Since we went up to 5.5 and I was pushing this board in overhead surf, I think we could go even 5.6, a little bit longer. I wouldn't add any more in width and thickness. I would keep it that the same, but now I have a more rail line to push off of. So my thing is, if you are stuck, you wanna buy this board and you're stuck between two stock dimensions, take the longer one of the two, you'll be stoked. It's completely free up here. You got high performance surfing. It's carrying a bunch of speed and it's still doing great turns and tight transitions. So let's look at some waves together. Nice overhead wave coming off the bottom. Nice release right into a bottom turn. That's the hold I'm talking about. This right, there it is again. Good hold, feeling confident in my turns. This wave's so beautiful. I love the flow from rail to rail. Nice top turn right there. And then here's a two foot wave. Look at the quick get up and go speed. Projecting really well, looking a bit explosive. This is good rail to rail transition, able to finish it strong. I love this wave just coming off the bottom, picking my spots, hitting my turns with confidence, excellent hold and performance. Now those were all the keel fins. Here's the end. You can see the board quite a bit looser, but I still have good hold and it's throwing good spray. So I did the bulk of the review on the 5.4 and 5.5 with the Almeric keel fins. That's the fin I recommend. Great hold and good performance, especially in bigger surf. I did also put the ENs, which is not a keel fin, so it's a little bit more upright and it's gonna give me a quicker pivot and a tighter turn in transition. And those felt great too, both front side and back side had excellent hold. Now, I recommend the fish beard for intermediate all the way to pro level surfers. And the wave range, it will grovel in one to two foot surf. It's a great paddler and it's got that get up and go speed. So you guys will be stoked even in really small surf. And if you're gonna push it like I did in overhead surf, Almeric keel fins will give you the hold you're looking for. Look, special shout out thanks to Britt for breaking down the fish beard for us and CI for sending these boards down for review. Look, if you like the show, subscribe. You can also find us at surfandshow.com. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.